Hello, welcome to Infinity Prep. In today's video, I'll be walking you through interpreting nonlinear expressions. Bismuth-199 is a radioactive isotope that decays over time. The half-life of a radioactive isotope is the amount of time it takes for one half of the isotopes in a sample to decay. The function above models the percent of bismuth-199 remaining in a sample after m minutes. What is the meaning of the number 27 in the function? So we're given this function right here modeling the uh, decay of bismuth-199 and they want us to find what uh, 27 in this function means. So the 27 in this function is um, the half-life of bismuth-199. How do I know this? It's because it says that um, the half-life of a radioactive isotope is the amount of time it takes for one half the uh, isotopes in a sample to decay. So when point, uh, m is equal to 27, uh, 27 over 27 is one, so uh, one half times, or uh, one half to the power of one is one half. And one half times 100 is 50. The 100 right here says, uh, represents the percent of bismuth-199 remaining in the sample. Half-life is uh, when one half the isotopes in a sample decay. So only when m is equal to 27 um, do 50% 50, uh, 50 of the isotopes in a sample decay. And that's why n's choice D is correct. The equation below can be used to calculate the kinetic energy K of an object having a mass m and a velocity v. If the velocity of Nicholas's car slows to two-thirds of its previous velocity, what will be the effect on the kinetic energy of the car? So the variable being manipulated here is uh, v, velocity. It is saying that the velocity of Nicholas's car slows to two-thirds of its previous velocity. So uh, the equation will now become m and it'll be two-thirds of v since it says uh, slows to two-thirds of its previous velocity so two-thirds v squared and this is equal to um, one-half m and the and two-thirds squared is four-ninths v squared so as you can see that um, k right here is being multiplied by this four ninths that wasn't here in the original equation. So, its choice B is correct. The kinetic energy will become four ninths of its previous amount. Saturation vapor pressure over water, ES, E sub S, measured in hectopascals, is the vapor pressure of the air when the number of water molecules condensing equals the number of vapor evaporating from a flat surface of water. The equation shown above models the relationship between e, e sub s and the temperature T in degrees Celsius of the air and water. Which of the following best describes the meaning of 6.11 in this context? So we're given this equation right here and it wants us to find uh, the meaning of 6.11. So let's look at the answer choices. Uh, a says this is the saturation vapor pressure when the temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. So let's plug in uh, 0 for t. When we do that, the 7.5 t becomes 0. And this makes uh, this whole uh, exponent uh, 0. And any any number raised to the 0th power is 1. So e sub s is, is going to be equal to 6.11. And it says that uh, e sub s is a saturation vapor pressure over water. and which matches up with this uh, answer choice right here. Uh, this is the saturation vapor pressure when the temperature is zero degrees Celsius. So answer choice A is correct. The equation above models the total number of downloads in thousands D of a mobile game Q quarters after, it's, uh, after it officially launches. Based on the model, which of the following statements is true? So let's take a look at answer choice A. It says the number of total downloads increases by 16% each year. Now you may think this is uh, incorrect because of uh, Q uh, over 4, but it's actually uh, the right answer because there's four quarters in a year, right? And so uh, if we plug in Q, uh, 4 for Q, this right here becomes 1. So 1.16 raised to the power of 1 is 1.16. And uh, when we multiply 32 and 1.16, um, 32 gets raised by 16%. Uh, 
uh, which uh, is true, uh, which means answer choice A is true. But let, let's, let's take a look at um, the other answer choices and see why they're wrong. The total number of downloads increases by 64% a year. Uh, the 1.16 uh, inside the parentheses is saying that it increases by 16%, uh, which means that uh, answer choice B is not correct. C says that the number of total downloads increases by 16% each quarter. This answer choice would be correct if uh, Q wasn't divided by 4. Then, uh, since Q is uh, quarters, um, we could say that the number of total downloads increases by 16% each quarter. But since Q is div being divided by 4, that's saying uh, that um, it's, be it's increasing every year. So each quarter, that, that's the part that makes it wrong. D says the number of total downloads increases by 64% each quarter. Um, you can't really say that since uh, Q, Q over 4 and 1.16. So answer choice D doesn't make sense. It is the correct answer. The following equation shows the number of possible distinct passwords P of length L where each character is selected from N permitted characters. How does the number P of possible distinct passwords change if the length is increased by three characters? So it's asking us um, how P is going to be affected if L is increased by three. So L is increased by 3 this is uh, the new expression and we can use um, the product of powers property of exponents to rewrite this as n of L times n of 3 and from uh, the uh, expression given to us P is equal to n of L so we can substitute the n of L we have with um, P so this becomes P of uh, P times n cubed and this is all we need to answer this question. The answer choices say P is multiplied by n cubed, P is multiplied by 3n, P is cubed, P is multiplied by 3. And the answer choice is A, since uh, uh, the expression we got right here, P is being uh, multiplied to n cubed.